Since the election, the stock market has continued to climb. The Dow Jones Industrial Average has stayed above 30,000 for the first time in history. So what is going on with the stock market? Will it last? And what does it mean for your retirement account? Here to discuss is Marcus Warren. He's a financial author, advisor, and radio show host here in Louisville and a weekly guest on Great Day Live. Marcus, thank you so much for having us today. Thank you. Now, this is obviously good news for anyone with a 401k or IRA, is that right? Yeah, it is. I mean, if, if they've been getting their, their monthly statements, they're, they're pretty much excited. Um, I guess the, the, only, the only bad thing would, would be is that about 40% of people participate in a retirement plan or a 401k. And so um, a lot of people probably aren't getting the benefits of uh, this, this high stock market. But, you know, at the same time, it's, it's done very well. Absolutely. Now, what do you say to people who might be invested more on the conservative side right now, but who wants to get in while they can to take advantage of the record highs? Um, I would say tread lightly. Um, you don't really want to get in when it's, you know, at its at its peak. You know, we, we've had some volatility lately. You know, it's like this. It's um, two emotions drive the market. You have fear and you have greed. And generally, right now, people are being greedy and people want to buy while the market is high. And really what you're supposed to do is you're, you're supposed to buy low and then sell high. But that but those two emotions, it always causes people to do the wrong thing at the wrong time, and they do it all the time. I, I gotta say, for a second I thought you were gonna say fear and love, but it was fear and greed, so that's totally different. Right. Now, a lot of people are attributing the surging market to big tech companies like Apple and Amazon. What is your take on that? Um, you know, I, I think that it's, um, it's valid. Um, we're seeing right now uh, this week that uh, tech has taken a hit and you're seeing the total market kind of tick down, you know, just a little bit. Um, and I think when you extrapolate big tech out of the S&P 500, what you're basically seeing is a reflection of what the real economy is doing. Because when you take big tech out of the market, you're left with uh, a flat or, or, or down market. And right now with unemployment, with the pandemic, uh, that's basically showing, hey, this is, this is the real deal. And so everything basically going on in the world is gonna affect everything. Absolutely. Is, is, okay, so that is Absolutely. good to know. So yeah. stay very informed. And the market is high right now, and that's great, but is there anything we should be doing to maximize our investments? Yeah, I think you know by by having a uh, diversified portfolio that helps. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. You want to make sure that hey, um, you have some tech, you have you know some bonds, you have you know some uh, consumer staples, things of that nature. But you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Do I own enough stocks? Do I own too many stocks? What's going to happen next with the market? If you are asking yourself any of these questions and you want to sit down with Marcus to make sure you're on the right track for retirement, you can get a complimentary second opinion consultation free of charge today. Just call 502-339-8255. Now you must be approaching retirement or already retired and have at least $250,000 in investable assets. Now Marcus, there's no time like the present to get your retirement affairs in order. Is that right? Yes. And you know, we're, we, we have that offer because we really think now is the time to do something. You have to be proactive. Absolutely. Now, again, that number is 502-339-8255.